I want to ask about, we've talked about Obamacare, we alluded to what's now being referred to as Dewhurst Care, which is the, uh, which I'm sure the, I'll get, be getting a note from the Lieutenant Governor about referring to it that way. But I want to ask about Zerwas Care. Uh, uh, you actually ruffled some feathers by saying, look, we have to accept the fact that while we may not like what is coming out of Washington, there's a likelihood that we're going to have to deal with it. And we're better off dealing with it on the front end than having to deal with it on the back end. And so you've actually introduced some kind of a health exchange program as, as legislation, anticipating that some, if not all, of the Obama Health Care Reform Act is going to find its way to Texas. Can you talk about why you did that? Uh, exactly. We, we spent the interim uh, taking a lot of testimony to be sure that we understood what was in the Health uh, Care Reform Act and what were the things that we needed to do to prepare the state of Texas to best be able to, to manage it. A lot of these things could be handled through the regulatory functions of TDI and HHSC. So, they were things that didn't really require any particular le legislative action per se. What we came away with, though, was clearly the, um, uh, we needed to get an exchange in place, and that if we didn't do it, we cede that exchange or that management to the federal government. Um, it was our opinion that is not what we want to have happen to the state of Texas. And so we developed a bill. We, we looked at a lot of different models out there. We looked at various models that were not health care related within the state of Texas to come up with an initial run at this and to get it out there early in the legislative session so people had the opportunity to look at it, chew on it, consider what its merits are, what, it, what are the neg negative things about it. There are a lot of political issues that, that, that come into bear on this, some of it being that an exchange is synonymous with uh, health care reform or, or Obamacare. And right. from a political point of view, that's, that's kind of the thing I have to deal with. You have you the know. votes? Uh, oh, I think we'll have the votes, yes. I think uh, the, the question is, is that once it gets through both chambers and, and to the governor, will it, get, will it get through the governor in order to uh, put it into place? An exchange is just something that operationalizes uh, some things that happen in the healthcare market. Uh, the, in and of itself, it's not the thing that makes a big difference. But, but if you were to look at a block grant and to, to bring a lot of money into the state of Texas and you were gonna try to funnel that into different places to help people get health insurance, you would want an exchange in place. Uh, and exchanges have been around long before they were ever associated with the Health Care Reform Act. And so they have a value. They're largely an operational uh, entity that is put in place in order to help make something happen in an area. And another thing that we brought up recently, we talked, is, well, look, you have a New York Stock Exchange because you go out there to buy stocks. It makes it easier to do and so forth. You have cattle exchanges to buy and sell cattle out there. And so the concept of an exchange is, is, is not new. In fact, it's really not even new to health care. It's just that it has taken a, a, a very highlighted role in a health care reform act that there is a lot of polarization around. And so it's become somewhat synonymous with that. If we don't do it, though, and this has been my primary motivation, um, is that we cede it to the federal government. And I don't care if you're a Republican or a Democrat, I don't think you're going to want to cede the health insurance market of the state of Texas to the federal government, which will probably do a one-size-fits-all, which we don't think is going to work for our state.